G'day guys, welcome back to Bush Rats. You're out here in the bush today on a wintry day with Young Lee. Um, lately we've been trying to get a bit of fishing done. Um, we've been heading out a couple of times, Tony's come, and just with all the rain lately, it's just been uh, pretty dismal, we can't even buy fish. So also got the COVID there, uh, which wrecked me for about two weeks, so that's why there's been a lack of videos. So I thought if the fishing's off, at least when you go wood chopping, you always seem to catch something. So back out here, chopped up a couple rings with the chainsaw, and say we're gonna do something a little bit different. So I brought down all my axes from the Fisker range. So I've got the mall here, which is the biggest one you can get, big block splitter. The brand new X27. The next one just below that, which is the X25. So I've had this one for a little while, she's a bit grubby. So the plan today is just to test them all out. We're gonna start off with the small one. I've cut three rings here. All the same sort of size, I'm just going to sort of see which one uh, chops the best, which one's the best for you, and which one's the best for me. So let's get into it. These logs aren't going to split themselves. All right. We've got three logs here lined up. We've got four actually, but one's a spare. So we're going to start off with the X25, the smallest one of the lot. Um, we're just going to see how she goes splitting this one right here. Let's get into it. Not bad, not bad. Hard work. So for anyone here that's not from WA, what we're chopping up here is a uh, Western Australian Jarrah. It's a real hardwood. This one here is not too bad. It's a bit nice and dry on the outsides, um, but towards the middle, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of rot, a little bit of moisture from it sitting on the ground in the rain. Uh, other than that, that's not too bad of wood. Whew, so you can breath back. Don't start smoking, kids. It's no good for you. Right, so I've had this thing for a couple of years now. The good thing with Fisker is they come with a lifetime warranty, so if you snap it, you take it down to any Fisker dealer, take them the broken one, and they'll give you a brand new one. So, see why people seem to love them. Um, impressions of the X25, real good for around the house, um, chopping up the wood at home, chopping kindling. Out here, she puts a lot of shock through your hands because it's quite short, um, and it takes sort of two, three hits to sort of get each. Bit, maybe I'm just weak, probably should hit the gym. Um, yeah, X25. If you just want it for camping or for getting firewood at home, chopping it up for the fireplace, um, not sort of chopping big ute loads, X25 would recommend. Next up, the X27. About the same sort of size. Head on the thing, just a lot longer sort of handle. Uh, not too heavy. Um, yeah, let's uh, swing this one around on that log right there. So you got a bit of reach on this one, the old X27. Best way I find is to work your way around the log until um, you get to the middle here, as you can see, a bit soggy, but ain't nothing the X27 can't get through. There you have it. X27. Always try and clear up where you're chopping. Don't want to have a bit of a trip hazard, especially around chainsaws and stuff. Whew. 
All right, brand new, never used this one before, but first impressions, X27, heaps easier than the X25. So you feel a lot less shock sort of through your hands. Uh, my hands tend to hurt pretty bad after a wood chopper mission with the other one, so that's why we've upgraded to this one. A lot more sort of leverage, a bit more swing action, um, just been a longer handle. Uh, I think these are about 140 bucks, the other one 100, 120, somewhere around there. I would highly recommend the old X27 if you're going out and getting uh, big loads of wood. So, good investment, I think, just for saving the hands. So, next up, let's try them all. It's the, the big, big daddy one. All right, fisk them all. This one is a bit black, they usually got an orange handle, but I accidentally left this out once when I was wood chopping um, somewhere where they did a burn through uh, a couple of days later. Went back and found it, so a fisker can handle a bit of a bit of a fire. We're gonna try and split this one here up. Let's get it underway. That thing's heavy. Woo. Wood chopping, she takes it out of you. So the mole. This thing is about four kilos, so she's super heavy. Um, a lot less shock on the hands than the rest. Um, but I would not want to be, well, I've done it before, but I would not want to be spinning, swinging this thing uh, for a whole ute load, because you'd be pretty wrecked. So. Don't start smoking, it's bad for you. But yeah, for splitting your big logs, um, sort of wet wood or green wood, this works a lot better, especially if it's real stringy, this will just sort of bust through it. Real good for putting star pickets in on this side as well, if you want a bit of farming, fencing. Um, but yeah, each one has their place. Uh, this is my opinion on them anyway, so we'll give a bit of a low down. Perfect axe for home, the X25. Splitting a bit of wood in the yard. Uh, if you buy your wood, this is perfect as well. Just chopping a wheelbarrow load at a time. Also good for camping. Uh, next up, X27. Would recommend if you do a lot of wood collection, this would be the one. Nice long handle. So they've all got a lifetime warranty or 25 years or something, I think they are. Uh, no receipt needed. Like I said, just take it in if you break it. Take it in Bunnings or any of them, sort of, might attend. They all sort of stock them. Um, they will replace it straight away, no questions asked, no receipt needed. So, X27, highly recommended. Super glad I got this one. And last but not least, the mall. I tend to take this one with me everywhere, as I'm not, not a huge bloke, you know. I can, you know, I used to go to the gym. Um, but this one here, pretty good for splitting those big, hard to split logs. Anything that's real uh, green or got a bit of a twist in it, this thing will get through it. So, like I said, they've all got their place. You, you, you do a lot of firewood. You, Probably need to get the whole lot, I reckon, but this episode wasn't endorsed by Fisk or anything. I've just had a few people ask me from the wood chopping missions uh, what axe I'd recommend. So there's my recommendation there, guys. So thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what axe you use. Um, also got a couple of vintage ones with the wooden handles, but really don't want to be changing handles too often on the wooden ones. They tend to snap and break pretty easily. So yeah, Fisker. Highly recommend, guys. If you've got an axe that you recommend, leave a comment below. Let us know what your thoughts are. Let us know if you're running one. Um, thanks for watching. It's been a bit of a fun one. I'm going to finish splitting this up, load her in the ute, get on out of here, and we'll uh, be back soon with some fishing. But in the meantime, get out there, get yourself a load, and we'll see you on the tracks. Yoo.